Welcome to the instructional video on how to troubleshoot a non-functional Ultimate Go-Kart that is producing no light or a flashing light error code on the power button. Your power switch will look like one of the following images. First, ensure the charging cable is disconnected from the port, as it is normal to see a single flashing light on the button when the charger is connected. This indicates the product is being charged in the on position. Before proceeding to the troubleshooting, remove the charger from the product and turn the product off. Next, we will access the connectors behind the seat as different connectors will be checked throughout the video. To access the connectors, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the flag and seat. The seat can be removed by undoing the seat screws on the underside of the frame. Once the panel is opened, turn on the power button and press on the pedal. If the red light on the power button is flashing, proceed to. If the light does not come on at all or fades out quickly, proceed to. A one flash error code will look like the following and indicates an error with the charging port. To begin troubleshooting, turn the product off. Next, using compressed air, Clean the port of any dirt or debris. Once the port is cleaned out, turn the product back on and retest the function. If the error code goes away, periodically clean out the port to keep it clear of debris. If the one flash error persists, you will next check the connectors behind the seat to see if the connector for the charging port may have gotten disconnected. Locate the connector for the charging port. Unclip it, inspect the connector for damage, and then reconnect back to the board by fully pressing down until it clicks into place. Turn the product back on and retest the function. If the one flash error persists, please contact our Radio Flyer customer service team at customerservice at radioflyer.com with your findings for further assistance. If you are seeing two flashes and then a pause, this indicates low battery voltage. Before proceeding, charge the battery overnight for 8 to 12 hours in the off position. If the product is fully charged, proceed with next steps. First, perform a visual inspection on the battery connector fuse housing and the main electronics board. The battery connector tabs should look like this and should not be misshapen, discolored, or show any signs of corrosion. Next, check the physical condition of the main electronics board. Note any discoloration or visible watermarks. Please note, if the board has been exposed to heavy amounts of moisture, this could cause failure with this part. If any of the components show signs of water damage, corrosion, or deformation, contact Radio Flyer customer service. If the components show no sign of damage, we will next check the function of your charger. Connect the charger to the outlet alone and note if the green light comes on the charger. Next, connect the charger to the product and note if the charger light turns red and then back to green. Contact Radio Flyer customer service at customerservice at radioflyer.com with your findings for further assistance. A four flash error code indicates the shifter is stuck in between gears. Place the shifter in gear and then retest the function. If the four flash error persists while in gear, proceed with the next steps. Identify the connector for the shifter. Unclip the connector, inspect it, and fully push back into place. Retest function. Next, check the connection of the wiring on the shifter side. To begin, place the shifter in reverse. Flip the car onto its side and locate the fasteners holding the shifter in place. Next, remove screws one, two, three, and four, as well as nut one and nut two. Then, turn the car right side up. 
Remove the bolt and nut holding the steering column. Lift the plastic sleeve around the shifter up a few inches to expose the connector underneath. Ensure this connection is fully seated. When fully seated, the top of the tab will be clipped into place and sitting flush with the rest of the connector. Contact Radio Flyer customer service at customerservice at radioflyer.com with your findings for further assistance. If you are seeing a rapid or a three flash error, this indicates an overcurrent with the motors. Please note that any aggressive use of the product can cause a three or rapid flash error. Turn the power switch off and allow the product to sit for a minute, then power back on. If the flash disappears, avoid driving on inclines, extended use on rough terrain, and do not drive the car if it becomes stuck. If the flash continues, proceed by locating the motor connectors and disconnect both from the board. Keeping them disconnected, press on the pedal and note if the rapid flash is still occurring or if the red light has changed. Next, attach the motor connector with the green and yellow wire back to the board. Press on the pedal and note if either rear wheel rotates. Also, note if the red light continues to flash or is solid. Disconnect the green and yellow wire and then connect the red and black wire connector. Press on the pedal and note if either rear wheel rotates and if the rapid flash is still occurring or if the red light has changed. Contact Radio Flyer customer service at customerservice at radioflyer.com with your findings for further assistance. If you are not getting any light on the power button or the light fades out, there is an issue with the product receiving power. You will first want to check the battery fuse and battery connector. Access the battery connector behind the seat and check the tabs. The connector tabs should look like this and should not be misshapen, discolored, or show any signs of corrosion. Next, locate the battery fuse, which is housed in the black casing on the battery. Remove the fuse with a pair of needle nose pliers and inspect the link. A blown fuse should show a break in this link. For a replacement fuse, please contact our customer service team. If the battery looks good, check the physical condition of the main electronics board. Note any discoloration or visible water markings. Please note, if this board has been exposed to heavy amounts of moisture, this could cause failure with this part. If the board looks good, connect your charger to the product and note if the power light comes on and flashes with the charger. Contact Radio Flyer customer service at customerservice at radioflyer.com with your findings for further assistance.